Good morning children. Now you understand division. Let us see the use of it. Now let us solve few problems. See, so many hens are hiding behind the board. Can you find how many hens are there? Let us count the legs first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve legs are there. We already know a hen has two legs. Here, in order to find how many two-legged hens are there, we need to find how many groups of twos are there in twelve. So, if we divide twelve by two, we can find the number of hens. Let us divide twelve by two. If you know the table of two, one twos are two, two twos are four, three twos are six, four twos are eight, five twos are ten, and six twos are twelve. So we get twelve divided by two is equal to six. Twelve divided by two is equal to six. So there are six hens in total. Let us remove the board. See, six hens are there. Our answer is correct. Now, can you tell how many dogs are there? Let us count the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen legs are there. And how many legs does a dog have? It's four. So, if we divide 16 by 4, we will find the number of dogs. In the table of 4, we know 1 4s are 4, 2 4s are 8, 3 4s are 12 and 4 4s are 16. So, 4 times 4 is 16. Let us use it. Hence, 16 divided by 4 is 4. So, 4 dogs are there. Let us remove the board. See? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 dogs are there. Our answer is correct. How many octopuses are hiding behind the board? If we count the legs, 16 legs are there. We already know an octopus has 8 legs. So, we need to find how many groups of 8 can be made by using 16. Let us divide 16 by 8. Using the table of 8, 1 eighths are 8, 2 eighths are 16. So, 16 divided by 8 is equal to 2. That is, two octopuses are there. See, after removing the board, we can see two octopuses. In the story, we saw there were 30 bags of grains with the father. He had three sons. He wanted to divide the bags equally amongst three sons. So, 30 bags needed to be divided amongst the three brothers. How many should each brother get? Let us do it ourselves. As there are three brothers, we need to find how many groups of three can be made by using 30. So, let us divide 30 by 3. How many times 3 is equal to 30? If you know the table of 3, 10 times 3 is 30. So, 30 divided by 3 is 10. When 30 is divided by 3, we get 10. So, 
each brother should get 10 bags for equal share. And this is what the father did. Each brother got 10 bags of grains. So the division was fair. See, now you can solve the problems using division method. Bye-bye children.